we made the custom sound that we're going to be using for displaying our tweet. In this part, we're going to continue that and we're going to be building the tweet actions for the tweet view cell. So without further ado, let's just dive in and open up Xcode. <music> the tweet action for our cell. Basically, we are here in the same file. So let me just go down in here and write a new component, which is going to be our reply button. So private let reply button, and that's going to be a UI button. We're going to be using the same anonymous closure. Let me make sure that I'm um, calling that over here. So basically, let button is equal to UI button. And here, for the type, I'm going to be passing the system so that you can get the effect whenever you tap on the button. Uh, basically, it gets dimmer so that it gives, gives you a, like a feedback. Also, we're going to use the uh, O2 layout as well. So let me say button.translate all the resizing mass into constraints. That is going to be equal to false. And for the button, I'm going to set image for basically the um, the chat bubble. So let me type in here, system name bubble dot left. And for here, I'm just going to be normal. And over here, I'm just going to return that button. But before we do so, I'm also going to change the tint color of the button to be um, maybe system gray too. That will look good. So um, basically, I'm going to copy that as well so that we can recreate the retweet button. So um, let me just change that really quick. So retweet and over here, I'm just going to say arrow dot two dot square path, right? And let me move down over here and let me add the um, basically the like button as well. So let me just say like button and over here, this is going to be the image for the heart. So heart and over here, we just need to add the last button that we have inside our tweet actions. So basically, this is going to be the share button. So let me just paste that over here, rename that. So share button. And now let's just change the image from here. So basically, this is going to be square dot and dot arrow dot up. Um, whoever is asking, where am I getting those um, names from, you can just use the SF symbols, which is a free tool provided by Apple that lets you browse all the um, all the icons that Apple provides you for free. So since we have all the components ready, let's just add those components to our content view. So content view dot add sub view. Let me just start by adding the uh, reply button and the rest. So basically the retweet button content view dot add sub view. This is going to be the like button, the share button as well. So basically now we have all the actions for the tweets ready. So right now, let's just dive into the good part, which is basically setting the layout or basically the auto layout for this. The last thing that we did in the last episode was just uh, constraining the tweet text content basically with a bottom anchor, which constrains to the content view bottom anchor as well. Well, we're going to be deleting this line. So um, if we run this at this exact state, uh, as you can see, the um, it's not going to expand basically. So um, we just need to constrain um, that to the top of the actions because basically we want to have the header that contains the display name and the username. Underneath that, we're going to have the tweet text content. And after that, below it, we're just going to need to have our actions. So let's just add our constraints for our tweets action. So let me just start by typing reply button constraints and I'm going to initialize basically a new array over here. So let me just type reply button leading anchor. I'm going to constrain that with basically the start of the tweet text content as well. I'm going to align that on the same line. So tweet text content label dot leading anchor. All right. So reply button dot top anchor. I'm going to uh, constrain that maybe like 15 or 10 points under the tweet text content. So let's just try that. So tweet text content dot bottom anchor, and I'm going to push that a little bit downward, like 10 points. And the most important constraint over here, we just need to constrain the bottom anchor of the reply button with the bottom anchor of the tweet content view. Let's just do that. So reply button dot bottom anchor dot constraint and that is going to be constrained with the content view dot bottom anchor and we just need to have like 
um, a room for breathing like uh, we just need 15 points let's let me just try that so 15 points is going to be negative so that it can be in the opposite direction so let's go in here NS layout constraint activate and we're going to activate that reply button constraint so let me just hit build and run and as you can see here we're gonna have like um, those buttons over here are misaligned because we didn't actually set the constraints for those buttons yet however I just wanted to show you that over here you can see that we have the reply button and I believe that looks good. All right, so now let's just start by adding the rest of the buttons over here. So first of all, I'm going to go up in here because we want to have spacing between those buttons. So let me just start by defining that. So private let action spacing, and that is going to be a CG float. And I believe let's just try something like 60. All right, so uh, down here, let me just start by adding this retweet button constraints. I'm going to initialize a new array, right? So basically a retweet button, I'm going to set the leading anchor is going to be constrained at a distance from the reply button. So let's just start by typing the reply button dot training anchor. And I'm just going to add the action spacing over here. So the second constraint that we're going to be assigning for this, so basically a retweet button dot center y dot constraint and I'm going to constrain that as well with the reply button and now let me just activate this as well so ns layout activate retweet button constraints we have two more to go so basically like button constraints and that is going to be constrained with the um, basically the trailing anchor of the retweet button with the same action spacing. So um, let me just say like button dot leading anchor that is going to be constrained with the retweet button dot trailing anchor. And over here, I'm just going to pass the action spacing. And uh, basically, we forgot over here to set that. So basically, reply button dot y anchor as well. Um, I can just go here as well. So like button center Y constraint to um, maybe we can just uh, constrain that with the reply as well. So that if you wanted to move that a little bit downward or upward, we can just move the reply button and all the other views are going to adapt based on where it's located on the screen. So um, yeah, that's going to be constrained with the center Y anchor as well. Let me just activate the like constraints as well. So like button constraints, the share button. So let me just start by adding this over here. So share button constraints, and that is going to be a new array. So you know the drill already. So all right, so share button dot leading anchor. All right, so that is going to be constrained with the like button so like i believe uh, yeah like button dot trailing anchor and over here is going to be the action spacing as well we're gonna set the center y anchor with the reply button as well so um basically reply button dot center y anchor and i'm going to activate this one more time so activate this i promise you this is going to be the last time so share button constraints. All right, so let's just build and run and um, let's hope that is working correctly. And as you can see here, basically we got only three buttons. Um, basically the retweet button is left. I believe we made a typo. So let me just go and check that out. Um, yeah, I can see here that, um, yeah, we actually wrote square incorrectly. So let me just hit build and run. Let's hope that is working. And as you can see here, basically, we have the tweet actions that we wanted from the beginning. And I believe 60 uh, points like um, spacing between each of them is good. Uh, we can tweak that over here and they're just going to, you know, shrink, expand based on that number. All right. So right now, let me just connect those buttons to our view controller so that we can listen uh, whenever someone taps on those buttons. So let me just go up in here and let me create a new protocol. I'm going to uh, call that protocol basically tweet table view cell delegate. And that's going to conform to the any object protocol as well. Um, over here, just for the simplicity of this episode, I'm just going to say 
um, tweet table view cell did tap reply that's going to be my first function let me just copy that and paste that over here like three more times and basically this is going to be retweet or write the like as well and last but not least the share so basically as we can see here delegate buttons or basically the delegate protocol over here is capable of um delivering actions based on four methods over here so basically tweet table view the tab reply retweet like and share uh, we need to have the delegate object over here and um, yeah let me just start by typing week var delegate right and that delegate is going to be tweet table view cell delegate so i'm going to set that as an optional for now so now at the moment no controller has assigned himself as the delegate for this view so let's go down over here and let's start by configuring the buttons that we have so let me just create a new function so i'm going to call that configure buttons all right and let me just start by implementing this function so private func configure buttons and i'm going to set all my buttons over here so first of all i'm going to say my reply button dot add target self selector i'm going to create a new function over here so basically did tap reply all right so the tab reply over here and for the action i'm going to choose touch up inside basically we just need to create this function and we're gonna have to make sure that it runs on the runtime of objective c so objective c private func did tab reply and we're done configuring the um basically the reply button over here so uh let's start by configuring the other buttons so retweet button dot add target self selector did tab retweet right we still need to make this function as well so objective c private right func did tab retweet and we're gonna have to make that as well for the like button so self selector did tab like dot touch up inside new function over here basically and last but not least for the share button as well so share button dot add target cell okay selector did tab share touch up inside and let me create one more function for the sharing button okay so share all right so uh inside of those functions we just need to call those functions on our delegate so basically delegate optional did tab reply delegate dot did tab retweet delegate dot uh this one is for the like action and over here we just need to add the delegate dot uh i believe it's gonna be share so as you can see here basically we added the target on each button and, and each button is going to call the delegate method so right now we just need to test that by uh going here for the home view controller let me just go down in here and make a new extension that is going to be my home view controller uh implementation or conformance basically for the tweet table view cell delegate and we're just gonna need to wait for xcode until it prompts us with this error so that we can implement those functions and as you can see here we can just say print lie right so print retweet okay print like i'm not going to say last but not least okay share um one last step in order for us to be able to um listen for those functions we need to assign this view controller as the delegate for the view itself so over here whenever we dq the cell we just gonna need to say cell dot delegate and that is going to be equal to self let me just hit build and run and let me see this in action so um as you can see here basically whenever we tap on the reply we get this over here reply basically retweet like and share so basically that's it for this tutorial in this tutorial just to recap really quick we were able to add the action buttons to our cell so if you like this video please hit that like button if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section down below and i'm gonna make sure and try my best actually to answer all of those and also if you like my channel please consider subscribing that is going to help me a lot with the youtube algorithm so once again that was harm happy coding stay safe